Hi guys, Matt from Master Digital here, Technical Manager. In today's video, we take a real quick look at how simple and easy it is to update firmware on WeTech devices by the 2.0 Cloud platform. So first of all, we need to navigate to the WeTech Cloud platform. That's cloud2.wireless-tech.com. Once you're here, you'll be able to register an account if you haven't already. Uh, pop in your details, you'll receive a verification code, create your password, the usual sort of setup process. Once you've registered, you'll then be able to log in with your details. So I will just log into my account here. Okay, and once you're logged in, you'll be able to see a list of all your uh, devices, all your networks, um, how many devices are online, if you've had any alarms come through, um, whether they're switches, access points, all that sort of stuff. So we're gonna go into training materials. This has a real simple network, a uh, bunch of switches, cameras, access points, that sort of thing. Um, and we can monitor everything from here. Now, on the left-hand side, we can view a list of all our devices individually. So we can go to access points. We can see that they're all online, all working. We can see what current version they're on, um, when it was last updated, um, everything all from there as well. Um, whether you've got mesh devices, 4G routers on the network, they will obviously uh, show applicably. Um, if you've got a device that is in need of a firmware update, for example, I've got one of the uh, 20 uh, PCMS 310 GFs uh, that is out of date. It shows that it's uh, upgradable. And it's a nice and simple process. Literally click the new firmware, select it again, and it'll give you a quick breakdown of what changes are uh, happening in this firmware. So on this one, to update the logo, um, network penetration software, PoE supporting, um, and everything there. And literally, you just click confirm. That will then send that signal direct from the cloud to that device over the network. It'll push that update to the device and it'll start that update process. Now, if you've got the device in front of you, you'll be able to see the lights change or turn off or reboot. Um, if we just quickly refresh that, we can now see that that started to push that update um, and that will then change uh, from 0% and go through now you can go off you can do other things so i can come out of this entirely and go to mesh i can access points i can look at the topology of the network i can browse and once that signal is sent you don't have to sit there and wait for it um eventually that will update once that's fully updated um then you're all good to go